Hello, we're back again. I'm just going to show you how you can use TV head end and Pi Core Player together. So you can uh, play back your audio radio streams. You can also uh, play back the TV streams, but you won't get no uh, picture. You'll just get the audio from TV channels. Right, first thing I'm going to do is log into my uh, Logitech media server, or same with Pi Core Player. If you go settings, and then plugins, if you scroll down, all the way down to third party plugins, and scroll down, uh, you will see TVH which is a uh, TV head end radio plugin for a uh, Logitech media server. So all you need to do is tick the box and then click apply. And then restart now and then OK. Give it a few seconds to download and install. Doesn't take too long. Right, I'm going to just log into my uh, TV head end server. So if you go uh, configuration and then stream, you will see all these profiles. We're going to be using the audio one at the top, but you can add your own. That's all we're going to be using the audio stream. Remember, video uh, won't work. I have tried it. Right, let me just go back to my uh, Logitech media server. I'm going to click on advanced. I'm going to click on formatting, or it says formatting. I'm going to uh, all the way down the bottom to uh, TVH. My server. You can either enter in the IP address of your uh, TV head end server. Like so. Or you can use a host name. I'm going to be using the host name. I've got mine set up as TV head end. And as I just showed you, you've got a stream profile of audio. So under profile, I'm just going to add audio. If you've got a username and password on your TV head end setup, just enter in the name, username and a password in the boxes below. And then I'm going to click apply. And then close. Let me just go back to my Logitech media server. If I scroll down to my apps, you can see uh, TV, uh, TVH. If I click on it, we'll see you've got your TV streams as well as your radio streams. Remember, you can listen to uh, live TV, but all you'll get is the audio. So if I go into my radio streams, as you will notice, something is missing, and that's the uh, icons. Well, uh, Pycons are all missing. But I'm going to show you how you add them in a minute. But everything still works. It's just you don't get the channel icon. So if I click on one, and it takes a few seconds to load. As you can see, it is running, it is streaming. Just test another one. One more. I'll just go back home. The thing I'll do now is show you how you add the uh, Pycons. So I was looking around on the web trying to find an easy method 
to add in your PyCons to TV head end because they have to be locally on the TV head end server for it to work on the PyGo player stroke the uh, Logitech media server. And after a bit of searching, I came across a website which shows you an easy method to do it. So I'll put a link in the description. So I'll just open my browser. It's a uh, website and a description by uh, was it Cinda Astra? Hopefully I uh, pronounced that right. Sorry if I haven't. And all you need to do is copy each of these steps to add the PyCons. The only thing you may need to do is add sudo in front of everything, say S-U-D-O, and then the text for it to work. So all you need to do is copy each line. You just need to shush into the Raspberry Pi or SSH into the Raspberry Pi, run in TV head end, and just copy each line to get your uh, PyCons. Only takes uh, a couple of minutes to do, not even that. Then if you scroll down, it shows you the settings you need to change in TV head end. Everything's done nice and clearly. It's a really nice guide. It shows you the paths you need to change. So your uh, icons show up. And all, uh, all you need to do at the end is reset your icons, which it shows in the uh, description. So uh, thank you, uh, Sindastra. Fingers crossed I said that right. Just scroll back up. Right, let's open my Logitech media server again. So if we go back into uh, TVH or TV head end, go back into my radio channels. As you can see now, I've got all my PyCons for each, uh, each channel. So if I click on one, the icons will also uh, show up on the screen if you're using a seven inch touch screen on your Raspberry Pi. They come up on the display. Just do one more. I have been hoping to find some which is sort of like got of a say a back shadow on them, so they stand out. Some of them stand out a bit better. Some of them are all right, but if you sort of like look at say Kerrang, you could do it with something like a back shadow on them. Or say like BBC Radio 1. Or say BBC Essex. They'd look better if they had a back shadow on them. So as always, uh, I hope this video's helped and uh, goodbye.